good evening dear student today also we shall see some problems from the chapter motion now without wasting time let us start the first problem is it is ncert problem abdul while driving to school computes the average speed of his trip to be 20 km per hour on the return trip along the same route mind it along the same route there is less traffic and his average speed is 30 km per hour what is the average speed of abdul's trip now we have to calculate average speed remember average speed is equal to total distance over total time average speed is equal to total distance over total time now since the distance for the forward trip and for the backward trip is same therefore we can assume that the distance of a school from abdul's home b x let us you let the total distance of the school from abdul's Home B X for forward trip distance is equal to X average speed. is equal to 20 km per hour so let us calculate the time for the forward trip so time for forward trip is equal to x over 20 in the same way for return trip distance is same that is x speed is given 30 km per hour time for return trip t2 is equal to distance over speed that is x over 30 now average speed is equal to total distance over total time total distance is equal to x plus x that is 2x 
टोटल टाइम टी वन प्लस टी टू सब्सिट्यूटिंग दैल्यू वी हैव एक्स ओवर ट्वेंटी प्लस एक्स ओवर थर्टी एल सी एम सिक्सटी थ्री एक्स प्लस टू एक्स सो टी वन प्लस टी टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स ओवर सिक्सटी दिस इज टोटल टाइम दिस इज टोटल डिस्टेंस सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू इन दिस रिलेशन वी हैव टू एक्स ओवर फाइव एक्स ओवर सिक्सटी और टू एक्स इंटू सिक्सटी ओवर फाइव एक्स और ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर पर सो द एवरेज स्पीड फॉर द एंटायर ट्रिप दैट इज फॉरवर्ड एज वेल एज रिटर्न ट्रिप इज ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर पर Let's see the second problem. A stone is thrown vertically upwards. Upper, upper ki or pe ka ja raha hai. With a velocity of five meter per second. If the acceleration of the stone during its motion is ten meter per second square in the downward direction, what will be the height attained by the stone? and how much time will it take to reach there in this problem the stone has been thrown with a velocity of 5 meter per second obviously the initial velocity u of the stone is given 5 meter per second acceleration in this case has been given 10 meter per second square but since the acceleration is being produced in the downward direction that is in the opposite direction to the motion therefore acceleration is negative that is retardation remember when an object is thrown vertically upwards when it attains when it reaches to the maximum height its velocity final velocity will become zero so final velocity is zero and we have to calculate height or distance and also time taken by the stone to reach that height kyunki object ko upar ki or theka gaya hai तो जिस स्पीड से उसको ऊपर की तरफ फेंका गया वो स्पीड उसकी इनिशियल स्पीड होगी अब किसी भी ऑब्जेक्ट को जब आप ऊपर की ओर प्रोजेक्ट करते हो ऊपर की ओर थ्रो करते हो तो अर्थ उस पर नीचे की ओर फोर्स लगाती है एंड ड्यू टू दिस ग्रेविटेशनल पुल ऑफ द अर्थ अ नेगेटिव एक्सिलेशन इज प्रोड्यूस इन द ऑब्जेक्ट and this acceleration is given minus 10 meter per second square jab kisi ko object ko hum upar ki aur throw karte hain to wo it will rise up 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 and its velocity will decrease progressively and when it will reach to the maximum height its velocity will become zero jab aap ek object ko upar ki aur phenkte hain to uski वेलोसिटी लगातार कम होती जाती है नेगेटिव एक्सेलरेशन के कारण से और जब वो मैक्सिमम हाइट पर पहुंचेगा वहां पर वो रुक जाएगा यानी उसकी वेलोसिटी जीरो हो जाएगी सो फाइनल वेलोसिटी इस केस के अंदर वी हमको एस कैलकुलेट करना है नाउ वी हैव टू इक्वेशन सेकेंड इक्वेशन एंड थर्ड इक्वेशन 
v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s or s is equal to v square minus u square over 2 a you can use this equation or you can also use third equation but for that we will have to calculate time so let us use this equation s is equal to square of 0 minus square of 5 over 2 into minus 10 that is minus 25 over minus 20 or Five over sorry, five over four or one point two five meter is the distance. So the stone will the stone will reach at a height of one point two meter above the ground. Now let us calculate time. My first equation of motion. T is equal to V minus U over A. T is equal to V is 0. U is, my, uh, my, uh, U is 5 meter. Over A is minus 10. That is minus 5 over minus 10. That is 0 0.5 seconds. So time taken by the stone to reach that height is 0 0.5 second. We have one more problem. A car accelerates from 6 meter per second to 16 meter per second in 10 seconds. Calculate its acceleration and the distance covered by the car in that time. The speed of the car or the velocity of the car is changing from 6 meter per second to 16 meter per second. Therefore, initial velocity of the car is 6 meter per second. Final velocity of the car is 16 meter per second. Time has been given 10 seconds. Now we have to calculate acceleration and the distance by first equation a is equal to v minus u over t substituting the values we have a is equal to v is 16 meter per second u is 6 meter per second time is 10 seconds 10 over 10 that is 1 meter per second square. So acceleration of the car is 1 meter per second square. Now we have to calculate distance. You have two equations for that. Second equation, third equation. You can solve this problem by both the Second as well as third equation. By second equation, S is equal to UT plus half AT square. Substituting the value we have, initial velocity is 6. Time is 10 second plus half into acceleration is 1. Time is 10. 
S is equal to 60 plus half the square of 300 that is 50 or S is equal to 100 10 meter. We can also solve this problem by third equation of motion. By third equation of motion, S is equal to V square minus U square over 2A. Or S is equal to what is V? The square of 16. What is C? Uh, U? Square of 6. 2 into value of acceleration A. The square of 16. That's all today. Tomorrow we shall deal with more problems.